Gary, I don't think anybody saw that coming. Was that a case of Forest Green Rovers brilliance or a poor night for the shots? I don't know how to answer that, if I'm honest with you. Um, we didn't start the game well enough um, and we gave ourselves a, a mountain to climb. But in all fairness, Forest Green are an excellent side. So um, it was always tough, as I say, going not starting well enough. But then obviously we go down to 10 men um, and it made it even more difficult for us. But um, yeah, disappointing. But in fairness to the players, second half, we didn't want the scoreline to go any uh, further in terms of uh, goals against. So uh, we've done that side of it. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a game that we'll, uh, we'll, we'll put to bed and we'll move on. You said yesterday that the key, one of the keys to the result was, was whether the team turned up. That, as you say, a poor start. That was clearly crucial and dictated the game. Well, we, we were punished. You know, they punished us early on because we didn't start how we normally start games. So um, that obviously tells us, you know, um, the games that we've played, not only here but uh, away from home. The start to games is very, very important. Um, Tonight we don't know why the reason behind it, but um, you know we're going to get games um, like tonight because um, it's not going to go our way throughout the season. So you can say whatever you like; it's a blip because we've been on a on a decent run and the players have done extremely well. Unfortunately, tonight um, we were punished heavily. Two goals down to ten men so early it gives you a mountain to climb. Do you think the two goals were? Credit to Forest Green for their attacking play. Did the defence make it a bit too easy? Yeah, I just said to the players in there, you know, it doesn't matter what uh, formation or if you're down to 10, 10 men, you know, you have to stop uh, crosses coming into the box. You have to mark in the danger areas. And um, tonight we didn't do that. Other games that we've played uh, recently, that has happened, but we haven't been punished. Tonight against better opposition, better, better, better players, you get punished, and that's what happened. Was there anything you could say at half time? What did you say? Was it a case of, as you suggested just now, of making sure that the score didn't go any further? It was damage limitation at that stage, you know. Um, we just needed to shore it up. Um, we've got another important game here on Saturday. And uh, as I say, we didn't want uh, the score line to 4 0 was a heavy defeat. We didn't want it to be any heavier, let's put it like that. The fans, though, to their credit, stuck with the players. Yeah, they're great. They've, they've been brilliant. I, I, I think they saw, you know, how difficult it was for us, um, and it was very difficult. Um, and they stuck with the players, which is obviously a credit to them. Very difficult evening for for all of us, but um, it's one that um, you know. Again, I said to the players there that we'll learn from, you know. Uh, but we we quickly move on. And the perfect chance to reward the fans to get back, the team to to get back to winning ways to show their real form here against Solihull on Saturday. But it's one game. It's three points. You know, we didn't we didn't go um, crazy when we were on our on our run, uh, and we're not down in the dumps because of tonight's result. You know, we conceded four. We've been magnificent in terms of clean sheets. We've lost three points. We haven't lost any more than that, uh, unless they've changed the rules. Um, so three points we've lost tonight. It could um, it's only three points. We'll we'll try and get them back as quickly as we can. Thank you. Thank you.